Red lionfish. Lionfishes make up any of several species of showy Indo-Pacific fishes of the scorpion fish family, Scorpionidae. They are noted for their venomous fin spines, which are capable of producing painful, though rarely fatal, puncture wounds. The fishes have enlarged pectoral fins and elongated dorsal fin spines, and each species bears a particular pattern of bold, zebra-like stripes. When disturbed, the fish spread and display their fins and, if further pressed, will present an attack with the dorsal spines. One of the best-known species is the red lionfish, an impressive fish sometimes kept by fish fanciers. It is striped with red, brown, and white and grows to about 30 centimeters long. The red lionfish is native to South Pacific reef ecosystems. In the early 21st century the species became established in reef ecosystems along the eastern seaboard of the United States, in the Gulf of Mexico, and in the Caribbean Sea. Its rapid rate of reproduction, combined with the absence of natural enemies in those regions, resulted in its decimation of local reef fishes and its designation as an invasive species. Great White Shark The white shark, which is also called Great White Shark or White Pointer, may be the fish that needs no introduction because it is one of the most powerful and potentially dangerous predatory sharks in the world. Starring as the villain of movies such as Jaws, the white shark is much maligned and publicly feared, However, surprisingly little is understood of its life and behavior. According to the fossil record, the modern species has been around since roughly 18, 12 million years ago, during the middle of the Miocene epoch, but its ancestors may date back to at least the Eocene epoch. In the areas where they are most common, white sharks are responsible for numerous unprovoked, and sometimes fatal, attacks on swimmers, divers, surfers, kayakers, and even small boats. A white shark tends to inflict a single bite on its human victim and then retreat. In many instances, however, the shark rarely returns for a second bite. If the victim suffers a moderate bite, he or she may have time to seek safety. In situations where a large bite occurs, however, serious tissue and organ damage may result is known to grow about 3.5 meters. Stonefish Stonefish are venomous marine fish classified in the genus Synensegia and the family Synensegidae, found in shallow waters of the tropical Indo-Pacific. They are sluggish, bottom-dwelling fish that live among rocks or coral and in mudflats and estuaries. Thick-set fish with large heads and mouths, small eyes, and bumpy skins covered with wart-like lumps and, sometimes, fleshy flaps, they rest on the bottom, unmoving, blending almost exactly with their surroundings in form and color. They are dangerous fish. Difficult to see, they can, when stepped on, Atlantic manta. Manta rays or devil rays make up several genera of marine rays comprising the family Mobulidae. Flattened and wider than they are long, manta rays have fleshy enlarged pectoral fins that look like wings. Extensions of those fins, looking like a devil's horns, project as the cephalic fins from the front of the head. Manta rays have short whip-like tails, provided, in some species, with one or more stinging spines. Manta rays, related to sharks and skates, are found in warm waters along continents and islands. They swim at or near the surface, propelling themselves by flapping their pectoral fins and, at times, leaping or somersaulting out of the water. They feed on plankton and small fishes that they sweep into their mouths with their cephalic fins. The smallest of the manta rays, the species Mobula diabolis of Australia, grows to no more than 60 centimeters across, but the Atlantic manta, or giant devil ray, the largest of the family, may grow to more than 7 meters wide. The Atlantic manta is a well-known species, brown or black in color and very powerful but inoffensive. It does not, old tales to the contrary, envelop pearl divers and devour them. Electric eel The electric eel is an elongated South American fish that produces a powerful electric shock to stun its prey, usually other fish. Long, cylindrical, scaleless, and usually gray-brown, the electric eel can grow to 2.75 meters and weigh 22 kilograms. The tail region constitutes about four-fifths of the electric eel's total length, which is bordered along the underside by an undulating anal fin that is used to propel the fish. Despite its name, it is not a true eel, but is related to the kerosene fish, which include piranhas and neon 